I mean, it would be very interesting from my point of view just to sort of start off actually to find out actually how much you knew about the show and how much you kind of knew you were letting yourself in for, because it was more than just a general kind of acting job or directing job. There is something kind of very special about Doctor Who, and at that time, obviously, the show had been a long-running, successful show that had been kind of rested, and you effectively had been sort of charged with bringing it back to life again, so yeah. a lot of kind of pressure. But did you really understand that pressure and really understand kind of what you are letting yourself in for in that respect? Well, yeah, I, yes no, really. I didn't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd seen them when I was younger, obviously, and... Uh, enjoyed them and then I got I got this call out the blue and I thought yeah I mean I didn't know and I was, I was slightly worried about how the Americans were going to uh, respond to it because they didn't know it at all so um, that was the, that was the main concern but um, how long before we shot would you have been approached what a year six months no about I think it was I think we shot in the Jan didn't we this must yeah. have been about the October oh, well, it's very so quick, yeah it's very quick but I can't that's like actors, it's really <coughs> yeah. 11 hours. Just on a plane and out, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and I think we came back home for Christmas. I, yeah. Well, I did anyway, and then, and then we, all, we all met in the New Year, didn't we? Yeah, we started in the January. Yeah. yeah exactly. I didn't realise that, so it, was, it really is... Yeah, it was very, pretty quick. Pretty quick. They just, they suddenly so there's no the prep green as light. such for you, that's it? That you're, yeah, I think I had about eight weeks prep. Yeah. Which was, which was, you know, quite, and, and they'd started building the sets, and they still hadn't got a director, which was... A strange way of doing it, and uh, but that, that's what happened anyway. So I went out to Vancouver and started looking around. And, uh, that and d d did you actually kind of do anything to prep in terms of looking at old episodes or revisiting it anyway, or did you go in with a very kind of fresh mind? Just went in with a very fresh mind because I just, just didn't have time. It was like hit the ground running, really. So I just I just started, and and I think what you have to do with any script is look at the, what, what you've got and tell that story. You know, not 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 to tip the heart back. But Phil Siegel, who was the exact producer, he was sort of the keeper of the. Doctor Who keys, and often he'd say to me, no, you can't, we can't have that, because that didn't happen in episode three of series two when they were on the planet Zod yeah. or whatever it was. <laughs> so, so, all right, fine, you know, so I, I, he was always, always... But was it under Phil's, was it Phil that, that approached you, or was it under his aegis that you were... It was, it was Joe involved? Wright, who was the exec at the BBC, and we... BBC Worldwide. B BBC, I think she was at BBC One at the time, and we'd done Lovejoy together, and she, she went to the... Uh, execs in uh, at Fox and said I think I've got an idea for the director yeah. and the guy at Fox said well I've got an idea too and it was both of them were me for some reason so, <gasps> yeah, so, famous yeah, so, so. <laughs> yeah. Daphne so can, I just, can, can I just ask you um, obviously Jeff just said then about the fact that there was a kind of lack of awareness about the show in America compared to obviously now where it's been relaunched um, so were you aware of the show at all had you seen it did you know what what, what you're letting yourself in for no I didn't know a darn thing and weirdly um, I, I've come to really feel that that was a good thing for me um, because you wanted to I wanted to approach it uh, yeah. honestly yeah. and the character that I was playing and so um, and, and it was so much fun to discover it through you guys you know you yeah, and, I can Sylve remember and Phil with you. Telling me about it on the set, yeah. and you too. Yeah. Just sort of saying, oh, you know, in the brace gut. yourself. You, you don't know, you, it's a big deal what you're doing. It's good. And then it became about, I don't want to let anybody down. But I still didn't know the gravity of the situation. It yeah. wasn't until I was literally driving across England and had just bought myself the box set here because it unavail was un unavailable in, in America. I bought the box set here, and I was watching all of the, all the interview stuff, and I was watching this whole thing with Phil talking about it. And I was so grateful that I didn't know any of that. I think I would have, I would have had a stroke at the, the, yeah. the stress, the seven years that he fought to get this thing going. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, oh my God, I'm glad I didn't know. And, so. and, and, and has this now been more widely seen? I mean, in terms of the, the, the movie that you did, <coughs> has that been more widely seen? It, well, as far as what's happening now in America? Yeah. It? yeah, it's exploding. It's exploding over there. Um, I, well, I, this, I, this I, one is. But this one, but, 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 but the Paul McGann um, and oh, Daphne Ashbrook... Um, um, yeah, I mean, this is another thing. Um, they're doing the revisited thing. I, I don't know if you guys know this on BBC America. They're doing the revisited, right, um, the series. So the, each month they choose a doctor and they show an episode. And of course they had our movie to show. Which one are they going to choose? For and, I don't know. Let me think about that. <laughs> and um, and they showed it, and it was only the second time it's ever, ever, ever aired in America wow. since no you know once in '96. So if you were old enough to have recorded it on your VHS, you had a copy. Other, otherwise, you didn't, and then they aired it one more time. And I actually, it's so pleasing for me to go out there and and have people say, "I just saw, I saw your thing last month," you know. And and usually, it's sort of I have to kind of explain things. So I do feel like I've been in the wilderness years, over over in America, because I'm sort of like, um, okay, let me explain who I am, and why I'm here, 
And I mean, there are the t diehards that know, um, for certainly. But like, but so new kids, or at least you know, people Lots that are coming to it now, are seeing it for the first time. Seeing it for the first so -called time. Movie. I had just one young girl come up, and she just started to weep. <laughs> and so With then I did the too. <laughs> <laughs> we were weeping. But yeah, she's this little girl, and she was just like, oh, 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 oh. And it was just like, oh, it's all right. It was so cute. And that's good. So it's all starting to catch up. And, um, but I do, I remember distinctly sat there with Sylv. Yeah. Um, just trying to give you a potted history. <laughs> Yeah. They're just off the set. And I still didn't get it. The last 30 yeah. years or whatever it was, you know. Yeah, I still, it was, yeah. I'm still catching up. I will always be catching up. We've all joined the club. And, <laughs> and Paul, from your point of view, I mean, there's nothing the British media loves more than speculating about who is going to be the new Doctor Who. And obviously there was a massive kind of speculation. And Actually, that's not true. Wasn't it? Maybe it was just in certain circles. At the moment, it's there. who's going to be in the 50th. Right. <clears throat> That seems to be the national sport of the yeah. Who is or who isn't going to be in the 50th? But I take your point. But in six, in six weeks' time, that will all be forgotten, won't it? Indeed. Because the 50th so will have been gone. They'll be on to the Christmas yeah, one then. And yeah, exactly. But, um, but from your point of view, obviously, eventually, you know, you, did, um, uh, you, know, you were revealed as being the new Doctor. But your agent is Tegan from the fifth Doctor, Janet Fielding, or she was <laughs> your agent. Mm. And, and, and what, what does she uh, say to you about the role? And, and how did that kind of come about from her point of view? Again, it happened fairly quickly. Um, maybe six months, which is, qu which is quite quick. Um, I was always under the impression, till about 20 minutes ago, seriously, that um, Phil Siegel had seen this TV show that I'd done with my brothers, this Hanging Gale. Because mm -hmm. of the way that I was dressed and I had this long hair and it was, it was this 1850s, 1840s priest mm -hmm. in this that's thing. That's Because Phil had told me that. You know, he said, that's when I knew. He said, "That's you were." So that's when we started to chase you, and that was that was '94. So that was the year before. Um, but I was just told backstage that no, it was three years before. Uh, anyway, yeah, but I can't I can't compute. But um, but that's I've always believed that that's what it was. And Siegel then got in touch and said, um, "Yeah, you know, come and." I know he wanted you right from the start. Yeah, well, I had other ideas, of course, but. <laughs> 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 and so had he. So, but um, anyway, I got a call and uh, to go and meet John Hubbard, who was doing the casting, right. and read with John. But so did my brother Mark. So I, I was under the impression that Phil actually couldn't tell us apart. <laughs> so, so we both auditioned. You can find these auditions now on YouTube. You know, can you? yeah, you can yeah. see them. Um, was I there? Hmm? Was I there? I, you weren't in the shot, it was just on him, but you yeah. might very well have been. Was yeah. he there? John. Or was it just Phil? No. Sorry, what was the question? Was there a question? <laughs> <laughs> the new question is, in terms of um, you know, obviously shooting this, which was kind of standalone, but also was a kind of pilot in a sense that it could have been picked well, up. It was a pilot. And, yeah. and did you, I mean, had you signed up for more if it had been sort of greenlit, so to speak? Yeah, the, part, the, 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 the standard contract for a North American pilot, I think it's probably still the same now, isn't it? Even to shoot a pilot as a performer, you, have to, you have to sign a you six or away. a seven year yeah. contract. Yeah. So you're kind of making a commitment in that sense to actually be with the show and, and you know, obviously it's Vancouver. You are, and, and the commitment in a, in a sense is one-sided because if, if, the, if the pilot doesn't get picked up, you're out on your ear, right. as happened in this case. But, um, but no, it's six or seven years and uh, I've never signed such a thing before. I don't know if you've ever done it before. I have. I, I yeah. have done a number, a number of times, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's, in a, it's slightly in the abstract. I mean, the pilot might go for six months. It might go for a year. Mm -hmm. But you're with it for the, for the duration anyway. But we signed these contracts. You did. I, I don't think anyone else did. I, I certainly didn't. Yeah, yeah I, I had to. I remember talking to you at the time about where you, you were talking about where you're going to live and if it happened in Vancouver. Yeah. Do you remember? We sort of well, that's the thing, presumably, yeah. isn't it? Because if you've got a young yeah. family and you've got to think about school and all yeah. the rest of it. Yeah, the boys were about. little... Um, Five, six years yeah, old. Yeah. Um, and despite, you know, li and we shot this thing in Vancouver, which is a nice city, a good place to work. Um, you know, and we were, we were looking at schools and houses in the bay, that kind of thing. So, in that, you know, in a sense, you know, you're kind of, you have to do it because it may happen. Mm. But um, also, we, I think we all were, were fairly au okay fait with the likelihood, the probability actually was against us. You know, most pilots don't get made. Mm. Um, or go to series anyway. I mean, um, there was this, there was, sorry. No, and um, 
we were right in this case, but that's how actors tend to live, you know. And there was a decision to, um, to, to bring Sylvester McCoy back in to kind of pass the baton mm. over to you, which on one hand obviously completely fulfilled the kind of the fans' kind of, you know, sort of, um, uh, uh, sort of loyalty and so forth, rewarded them. But on the other hand, it could have ended up being kind of confusing. I mean, how, how did that go down from the American audience point of view, Daphne? Did that confuse people? Or did they get Did it you understand or? about the regeneration? Well, well I, I read the script, you know, and I, and I was fascinated. And, and it certainly explained, you know, um, what you guys started to, what I started finding out about it later, which is yeah. why, how come there's so many different, what, you know? Um, but when I read the script, I actually, that's what sold me. I, I, I was excited as can be by that. I mean, I knew this was something different. And, um, and, then, and then as I learned more and more, I understood it because of the regeneration. Yeah. Plus my favorite part about that is that I got to meet Sylvester McCoy, who I love so much and uh, adore. And so that gave me a chance. And you know, he's always entertaining, isn't he? He was there yeah. playing his spoons and... and <laughs> oh yes. Give him, give him some spoons. That, that's a that. euphemism. <laughs> it does not get better than that. I mean, I... Yeah. Absolutely. And so, yeah, it was brilliant. And, um, and so I immediately knew this was different and it was exciting. And so if, if, if the rest of America were like me, then, then uh, yeah, that worked. I don't know. I don't understand all the different ins and outs. And Jeff, did you, I mean, did you have any concerns in terms of, it's such a very British kind of institution, Doctor Who, or certainly had been until then, and this whole kind of decision of kind of taking it over the Atlantic and, um, and, and, and obviously, you know, it's set in America and so forth. I mean, did you have any concerns, or were you just thinking this really is it's a completely new show and that's the way you have to sort of deal with it? Well, I felt that it was a completely new show, but what, what was um, interesting is that sometimes what I've read criticism about it was that, you know, the Americans have now done Doctor Who and Americanized it, whereas in fact... Phil Siegel's a Brit, Matthew Jacobs, who wrote it, was a Brit, Joe Wright, the producer, was, is British, I'm British, Paul's British, and it, was really, it was effectively a British show that we just moved over there, and, and it was set in San Francisco, mm -hmm. so I, I wasn't that worried, because I thought, we're just, we're just doing the next one and the next Doctor, and it felt to me like it just happened to be an, an English show that we filmed a, a, abroad, really, so and, I didn't know that concern. And did you actually travel to San Francisco at any point of the shoot? No, never went near the place. <laughs> All the, th there are a few shots of San Francisco which, which were library shots, or I think maybe we may have sent another camera up there. I can't remember now to do a, a few bits and bobs, but, but it was all, everything was done in Vancouver. We've, we've touched on sort of, you know, the casting, and obviously Paul being in the role and so forth, but obviously one of the standout sort of, uh, casting performances is the voice of the Daleks, and I wonder if you could tell me about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was quite interesting, because um, you, I don't know if you... For those of you who don't know, uh, when you finish the film, you edit it together, and then you go into uh, the dub, and, and that's where all the sound's mixed, and all the sounds come in, and that and the other. And, of course, the, sometimes the actors come in, and if it was noisy like it was sometimes, they've come and done their voices. And then there was a blank, and it said, you know, voice to be added. So we got to the mix, and I said, right, run it, and the music came up. It was all very exciting. It's, I was, it's starting to sound like a movie now. And suddenly this voice came up going, exterminate, exterminate. Uh, and I said, what's that? And they said, well, I mean, it's, it's the Dalek. Uh, and, uh, and the, the Dalek? It's the Dalek, and uh, we didn't know what a Dalek was. So, you know, I had to explain it. And it had been a loop group guy. They call them the loop group. They come in, they do, you know, if there's a, a newscaster or a you know, temporary, that sort of thing on uh, police radios, they come in and do all that. And one of these guys, they said, uh, you know, Bart or whatever his name was, you're the Dalek. So... Um, so then they said to me, well, what's it like? And I kind of, kind of did a COD version of it, and they just looked at me. So we sent <laughs> and got a, a, one of the original episodes, and then no one could do it. So I kind of did it in a sort of COD Dalek voice, and then they added the on, and I said, that sounds like it. And I was quite proud of it until earlier on today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what he said. It's <laughs> terrible. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> He's still here, yeah. yeah. So if only Nicholas, if only Nicholas Briggs could have been there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, Daphne, from your point of view, obviously, you know, there's one scene that that, um, that takes place in the hospital, obviously, with being a doctor and so forth. And do, I mean, do you actually kind of go and research stuff like that? I mean, uh, you know. Yeah, no, I didn't have a lot of time for that. <laughs> I really didn't. They did have someone on the set, though, advising, someone who knew what the heck. I was doing, and they would say, I mean, you, you remember, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So they were very yes. you know, hands-on at that point, but we were rushed. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I, I, I don't. I, I remember that was being uh, one of the few times that I really felt like we, we were moving. We had to get this done kind of fast. I don't yeah. remember why. Do you? 
No, I, 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 it was just the whole thing was a very... I think we shot the whole thing in 28 days, which is pretty tight for a, something of that ambition. But the, you, you always have a medical advisor, and they always... They're great up to a point, and then you want to punch them. <laughs> because, we can't you know, do they, that. They'll, they'll say, no, you, you wouldn't... They say, well, we're not doing a documentary, this is a drama. And I think the guy's... Hey, she really wouldn't have two hearts. <laughs> yes, we know that. That's the point. <laughs> it was all that sort of thing going. So I think we sort of let them do a bit and then just... Thank you. I have to just really quickly say, um, since this is the first time I've seen you since we shot it, yeah. and, and, I, and I haven't seen you at any other events like this where we get to discuss right, what right. happens, uh, I just have to say thank you for being so wonderful. Oh, thank you. And for casting yeah, yeah. me. Oh, thank and, you. And, um, you know, we really, I felt like I was in good hands, and I, I think I needed that, I, yeah. Thank you. Oh. And so, thank you. Well, thank you. That's very nice. And it was a lovely set to work on. I, I had the best time with these guys. It was just wonderful. Do you know what? I feel like Scylla on Surprise Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I've reunited you as well. So. I remember there was, there was one time when we, we were outside doing that sequence outside where they first kissed. And Paul said, what does all this mean? You know, and about time, we've got to turn back time. And I said, I don't know, but if you say it quickly... <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, it's so rattled like an old Humphrey Bogart, because none of us knew, we were just going, and Matthew, the writer, wasn't there, so we just, we'll just say it fast, and then no one will understand it, <laughs> and then they'll all blame themselves, and oh, I didn't quite get that. I mean, it's interesting, it's isn't it, that there is this sort of, I mean, obviously, on one hand, embracing the past as, like, the seal of Rassilon, and the master, and the TARDIS, and the sonic screwdriver, and, and you know, with Sylvester coming to the regeneration, so there's lots of the old stuff in there, but obviously you have to make it new as well, and, one, and there were a few... <clears throat> controversial elements. One you've just referred to, which yeah. is the kiss, and the other about the whole thing about whether um, he's Don't say it. Don't no. say it. But Beth. No, no, say it. Don't. Oh, my God. Half human. Well, the half human. Said it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so, the kiss, yeah. What, what, yes, what was the elephant in the room, is now? Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we've said it now. I mean, yeah. we, I mean, once again, I mean, could you ever have imagined all these years later that this would be something that would still be discussed on forums around the world? <laughs> no. Anyone? Anyone? Well, it was, at the time, it was like, <gasps> wasn't it? I mean, it was like, you can't I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even tell didn't really me on the set. Me I just thought it was in the script. I thought it was a kiss. Yeah, fine action. Kiss. You know, yeah, it was, yeah. Can't. That's what it was. You knew, right? You knew that there might be something about it. Only because there'd be Phil, some reaction. Yeah. Phil, has said something? On that day, yes. he said, this will go down. I never so heard you. He made some slow. Something <laughs> elliptical. But, <laughs> but oh, no, 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 I didn't know. I didn't realise you couldn't do it. No, well, you guys left me in the dark. Phil huh? felt it was all right. It felt because he was so. Anyway, they're doing it now, aren't they? Everybody so does it. Yeah, right. Yeah, everybody does it. You know, the... we were trendsetters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pioneers. <laughs> yeah. We cut the other scene, didn't we? The bedroom scene. We cut. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we cut it rather well. <laughs>